way back in 2020, the Batman trailer was released, and I was pretty interested in it. I was pretty excited for it. Now that it's been out for a bit, I figured I would go over some of the things that I addressed in that video, some of the things that I wanted, and some of the things that I just happened to think about that were interesting or done well, and some of the things that were could use some sort of improvement for sure. So one thing right off the bat was that the film seemed more arty, more long, uh, and realistically, it was less Batman oriented. It was less of like a Batman that people know about. It was more like a comics driven Batman, which was interesting. I like that. It was interesting. It wasn't some rich guy beating the crap out of people all the time. There's references to that. And there was references to the old Batman storyline. But it was more like taking the common core of what everyone knows and building on it, which I really appreciate it. And I think that's probably Matt Reeves' direction. And that's excellent. I really appreciate that. That's awesome. Now, going forward, the iteration of Batman scene is like really young, or, or fairly young, but he's more angsty than anything. Uh, his relationship with Catwoman was pretty good. I think I was worried about that. And actually, I think it was weird, but not for the reasons I thought. I think it was weird because there was so much material and was cut, not because it wasn't well written. I actually think it was pretty well written. There's so much material, it just was hard to edit correctly. And also, there's not a correct way to edit it. It's just, it didn't exactly work for me. It just seemed like there was a whole lot with the Falcone storyline. And it was like, in the club, out of the club, in the club, out of the club. Talking to Falcone, and then flashbacks, and all this kind of stuff. It was, it was kind of all over the place for me, and yet it didn't seem like a ton happened. Some of the things I was more interested about were like, his eye makeup was just, it was a lot. It was distracting me. And the Riddler's performance was actually really good. Besides Andy Serkis's performance, I think, like, those two were, were probably the best in my opinion. Uh, just for example, a quick example, like Alfred, the bit about Alfred being family, was probably the most authentic Batman Bruce moment. Because besides maybe the Bat family, which doesn't exist at that point, that he's the only real family to him. Alfred is like the rock of the Wayne family that's left. Even though he's not a Wayne himself, he might as well be. And he's he's kind of like the uncle that if he were to die, the whole family dynamic gets destroyed. And I also think the Riddler's performance was pretty good. It actually kind of wrapped up a lot of interesting things and was really, really intriguing to me up until he started singing, which was probably the worst part of the movie. I think there was a really good foundation set up with the Wayne Arkham dynamic because of the Riddler. It was more cerebral and more detective driven, which is really neat. And I think that this could really pick up steam if there was going to be a Court of Owls storyline. There's room for that, but also if it's left, you know, then fine. It was a good introduction to this version of the Batman. I think the end, the ending was really interesting and more true to what the possible movies or storylines could be like. The, the one thing I really was not a fan of, for sure, was that the Penguin didn't radiate any sort of gravitas. It was more like he's a weird gangster, and I, I guess that's more true to some versions of the, of the Penguin, but his bit on Spanish was pretty funny, but really, it doesn't doesn't seem like if he's the central villain of another movie that I would care. Hopefully he would just be like a, a smaller entry to the much bigger villains. I think that would make more sense and would keep me more interested. Realistically though, the Batman was not bad. I, th I think a lot of people I've talked to are sort of not big fans of it, and that's fine. But I think for what it was, it was pretty good. And it was really different than the other Batman movies, and more true to some of the Batman storylines. Um, it seems like the long Halloween is where it gets a lot of inspiration. There's probably quite a other few that it gets cobbled from, but it's, its veracity to the comics is what stood out to me, and is much different than sort of like a Michael Bay explosions and fight scenes and weirdness that often Batman gets swept into that, uh, that you see in live action rather than in a, a well-written storyline, which was at least what this was trying for, and it didn't work for some people, but I think it at least the relationships sort of work. I think the Falcones and Waynes and the Arkhams hinted at, as well as uh, Bruce and Alfred, was a pretty good. That was that was pretty good. The Catwoman thing, it was just too much. Put too much stress on the movie itself in terms of getting from point A to point B. Overall, though, I thought it was pretty decent, and I think it could really improve. I think it could be something that actually really builds on itself quite well. I was already trying to do that with the Riddler storyline, and I appreciate it. It was good. It was better than I thought. I thought it could be, and I, I don't know. It was good. I'd like to see more. And yeah, if you agree or you don't, that'd be awesome. Leave a like, leave a dislike. It'd be cool to see what you guys think. It'd be awesome. Thanks for watching and stay fantastic.